If you are looking for an easy way to attract more beneficial insects and pollinators to your garden, consider making an insect hotel. It's a simple project that you can make in a matter of minutes. In this video, I'll show you how to make your own insect hotel with little to no expense. The first time I saw an insect hotel, I knew I had to have one for the garden farm. So naturally, I recruited our DIY guy here, Todd Brock, to help us build one. Well, building is a stretch. There's really not a lot of building involved with this. This is a super simple project. Well, really, we're just mimicking what happens in nature, what they would go to, insects, beneficial pollinators, solitary bees. We're just really replicating that. Yeah, and you're putting it into a self-contained unit that then you can put near the garden or flower beds or wherever you need to in the landscape. Uh, but this is it, and it's totally free. I'm telling you, Joe, <laughs> literally free. Not a dime spent. This is all <laughs> scrap wood, found materials from the landscape. If you're spending money on this project, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> well, I love that. And so let's start with the basic structure right now. Really, it just looks like a birdhouse pretty much. Yeah, the size and shape is dictated only by what you have on hand. These are scrap boards that I had in the workshop from a different project. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's this size and shape. Yours might be the size of a small birdhouse. I have also seen these take up the entire wall of a, of a garden shed or a barn. So it's entirely up to you and what you've got to work with. Well, and it just dictates how much of what you find outside you're going to use to fill it up. And that is the point. All of these are found objects. We have sticks and twigs and... Right, and you're not limited by what you would find in nature. You've got flower pots, mm -hmm. cord bricks work great, the kind with the holes in them. You can use cinder blocks. Uh, you know what? Drinking straws are a great addition to something like this. The key is you're looking for holes. You want nooks and crannies, uh, crevices, cracks. That's what's going to replicate the, the tunnels, the burrows that these insects would be creating or using out in nature, and that's the key. So once you've got your box and you collect a bunch of materials, you just start stacking. And the idea is to sort of take like objects and sort of keep it all together. Okay. So, you know, maybe throw a couple of those sticks in there. Okay. Yeah, so you keep the like items together and then you just use more scrap wood to create these little compartments. And the compartments is sort of the, uh, is sort of the thing that makes this an insect hotel as opposed to just a box full of yard waste. Uh, once you start to see this artsy and geometric pattern happening, you're on the right track. Now it's an insect hotel. <laughs> I, I like how it looks already and we're just getting started here. Joe, you mentioned how artsy this project is. And with art, there are no rules. With insect hotels, there are two rules. Right, you gotta have the roof. Yeah, that's super important. That creates a little bit of shelter. And that, again, that's just what insects would do in nature. They, they use overhangs, uh, they get in under things. I mean, they're, they're not just out there out in the open. So this is a little bit of shelter yes. uh, for them, which they would look for on their own. Right, and then when you put it out in the garden or wherever this is going to live, you want to give it a south-facing orientation. And that's for sun, right? Yeah, that's for sun. That gets them up and going earlier in the morning, gets them warmed up, and gets them on their way to do what they do best, right? Well, th then this is ready for them. We can mount this in the garden. You can put it on a fence post. Uh, you could mount it to a tree. Uh, again, w whatever works for you in your situation. 